Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to present you a method of power system stabilizer parameter optimization technique using particle sum optimization uh, algorithm. Uh, so unlike my previous videos in, uh, in which I was using MATLAB to model the particle sum optimization algorithm, in this tutorial uh, the particle sum optimization algorithm is written in, uh, in a script, in a DPL. Okay. So let us proceed. So let us suppose that you already have the file with the power system and the, the PSO algorithm. So there you have it on my desktop. Two area system PSO DPO. Okay, let us import that file in uh, Dix Island. Click on File, Import, Data. This is the file to area system PSO DPO. Open it. Click execute. And now you have uh, imported the, the PFD file. Now we must activate the PFD uh, the the uh, power system project. Click on activate project. Click on two area system PSO DPO. Okay. So there you have it. Uh, first of all, uh, you must uh, do some uh, uh, follow some steps for uh, the PSO algorithm to, to run. Okay. First of all, first step is to click on calculate initial condition and the compute uh, the system eigen values but, but before pressing the execute button go to advanced options and uh, must modify a file uh, dig silent compute the system eigen values and store the store the store the eigen values in a file called by default eigen values in our project in this optimization the system eigen values are stored in another file, in the rest file. Okay, so we must uh, 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 choose that file. Click select. Go to two area system PSO DPO. Click on study case. Click on PSO. Click on particle storm optimization. And there you have it, the rest file. Click on rest file, OK. So you have here now instead of eigen values, you have rest file. Click execute. You can see uh, that Big Silent uh, computed the system eigen values. This, uh, this starts, this crosses. OK. The second step is to open the script file with the PSO algorithm. Go in two area system, two area system PSO DPO. Go in to in study case. Click on PSO algorithm. Okay, so there you have it, the particle storm optimization algorithm. Double click, and uh, there you have it, the script with the particle storm optimization algorithm but we are going to discuss about it later on okay so the next next step is to modify also uh, the rest file in uh, in, uh, in uh, model analyze of this uh, script so go to content go to com mode this com mode is the same is the equivalent of this button which computes the system eigen values double click on it and go to advanced options and uh, proceed uh, like uh, you proceeded earlier and uh, go to select and two area system PSO DPO go to study case Go to PSO, 
click on particle storm optimization and click on rest file okay so you have here the rest file click on execute and close now we are going to see if the uh, algorithm works so you, we have here five particles with five generation just to see if the algorithm works click on execute yes it is working okay if your optimization process worked like mine uh, did uh, let us uh, run a simulation but first of all I must warn you about something okay let us suppose that you uh, run a time domain simulation like I did uh, here now okay and after you did this you want to run the particle sound optimization again let's suppose you can see that the algorithm worked okay but the value of the objective function is zero okay the problem must be solved in this way uh, before you run the particle sound optimization you must calculate initial conditions and run the model analysis and after that immediately after, immediately after that you must run the particle sum optimization okay you can see that it works okay good now let us run a simulation let us consider um, uh, 50 number of 50 particles and a number of 20 generations but I will advise you to use at least a number of 50 generations with 100 particles because these parameters over here are, uh, are, are, are chosen uh, based on this, uh, this number, number of generations and, and it must be at least 50. Okay, let us turn on the simulation like this and you can see that at the beginning of the simulation the system aging values are very close yeah, uh, from the uh, OY uh, axis and uh, with every generation the system aging values are driven in the left side of the X complex plane as we are going to see at the end of the, the simulations now the information uh, which are available because of the algorithm are the number of generation the number of uh, actual particle and the number of and the number of the objective uh, sorry and the value of the objective function okay let us uh, look a bit uh, into inside the script and you can see here that you, ha you have the constant um, definition which are you the constant which are used uh, during the algorithm and here there are uh, there are uh, defined the uh, vectors and the matrices used inside the algorithm but also you must define the matrices and the, the matrix and the vectors here in the content here okay now uh, let us uh, see the result of the of the optimization process. You can see that now we have we are in the eight nineteen generation. Yeah. Now in the twenty generation, and you can see that the system AG values are quite far, are quite far from the OY axis. Uh, the algorithm was written in such a way uh, and uh, when uh, it uh, uh, find the optimal PSS parameter it automatically put that parameter inside the, the PSS and now if we want to run to, to calculate the initial condition and to determine the system par parameters yeah, to we did this with the optimal PSS parameters but uh, 
the end of the optimization process there are some um, information very useful uh, from which among which uh, there are uh, the evolution of the objective function at the first generation the best particle had a uh, value of the objective function of 50.5 15.45 and during the optimization process uh, it gets uh, very small like in this case 8.03 and here are the uh, PSS uh, parameters the optimal PSS parameters determined by the algorithm so if we are looking at the PSS then parameters you can see that the constant K is 21.13 and here that is 21.13 T1 is 20.01 and T1 is 20.01 so, so that means that the system uh, the PSS parameters, P parameters were uh, written inside the PSS input interface ok uh, in the next video I'm going to show you another optimization technique in terms of uh, genetic algorithms so the same problem will be solved using uh, genetic algorithm if you have problems with the optimization problem uh, with the, op the optimization process you can contact me and ask me what uh, uh, to solve the problem